Hi and welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited about today's travel video because today I'm going to be sharing with you some information that came across my desk and you know I couldn't wait to share it with you because it's about Cuba. So travel to Cuba in 2019. What's changed and what's coming? Let's jump right on in. So U.S. travel to Cuba is expected to rebound in 2019, according to a new survey released by the Center for Responsible Travel, or CREST for short. The independent survey of U.S. tour operators and other service providers to Cuba shows that people-to-people -people travel study abroad programs and cruise bookings are expected to rise this year after seeing declines in stayover travel in 2018. The findings come in the lead up to the Five, the 500th anniversary of Havana as the destination prepares for the expansion of its cultural programming and infrastructure. Despite Trump administration policy changes that impacted U.S. stay over travel to Cuba, the destination continues to attract visitors from around the world. According to Michael, to Michelle Ber Burnell, I guess it's Burnell, Ministry of Tourism's commercial director, a total of, get this you guys, 4.75 million international visitor arrival, arrivals were recorded for Cuba in 2018. And that's up from the 4.5 million in 2017. With the goal for 2019 set at 5.1 million travelers, Canada, the U.S., and C uh, Cuban residents abroad are... Cuba's top three markets with Russia, Mexico, Brazil, and China as the feeder markets with biggest growth in the last two years. Booms in cruise ship arrivals, which grew 48% in 2018, played an important role in the unprecedented growth in travel to the region in 2018. The survey showed that 55% of respondents involved in people-to-people -people travel expected their people-to-people -people travel bookings to Cuba to increase in 2019 compared to 2018. As for the decrease in travelers, last year, when compared to 2017, nearly all, which was 95% of respondents cited the U.S. State Department's Level 3 Travel Advisor for Cuba as a top reason for them not going. So in August of 2018, the State Department changed its travel advisory for Level 3, reconsider travel to Level 2, ex exercise increased caution. So let me say that again. So in August of 2018, the State Department, they changed its travel advisory. And that's something else. When you all travel, always ask about or look for the travel advisory for where you're going. And they they went from a level three, which is reconsider traveling here. Like, you know, light bulb is going on. You may not want to go there. Down to a level two, which is exercise increased caution. And if you're going with a group, you're there, so you need to stick with the group. Basically, you don't need to be going wandering off by yourself trying to see the real cue because you might end up getting yourself caught up. Cruise arrivals, which grew drastically in 2018, were expected to top 850,000 by the end of December with 70% of these originating from the United States. On the horizon, Seaborn and Virgin Voyages are headed to Cuba in 2019 and 2020. Pearl Seas Cruises is currently sailing to Cuba until April and then resumes sailing November through December, which continues into 2020 with January, and January to April offerings. Art and culture, or let me backtrack, art and culture are thriving as Havana's 500th anniversary celebration in November approaches. And of course, I'll have more information about that as I get it. The Biennial is returning to Havana in full force April the 12th through May the 19th this, in this year after last year's was canceled due to hurricane damage. So artists from across the globe will descend on Cuba to showcase free art expositions, participate in conferences, and network with both Cubans and their fellow artists, a highlight for film and cinematic fans. The 15th International Film Festival of Gabera will take place again this June, bringing together a lineup of Cuban independent filmmakers. Now, this is awesome and amazing stuff, you guys. So the country is also set to continue to draw educational travelers of all ages. Of Crest's surveys, respondents involved in U.S. study abroad travel to Cuba, 60% said they expect their Cuban Cuba travel, uh, I'm sorry, Cuba study abroad bookings to increase in 2019. I actually know somebody that did this 
I want to say it was last year. And so that would act, that's actually something really interesting to look into doing. Y'all, I'm trying to talk my mama into going on a cruise to Cuba. Fingers crossed that I can convince her to do that because I really, really want to go. And nobody else I know is want to do it. So we'll see. So that's all I have, you guys. Anytime I get to talk about Cuba travel, y'all know it just makes me so excited. So I'm really excited about that. And I hope you are as well. And if you're looking to book some uh, to book a cruise to Cuba or just go in general, please reach out to me. So far, I've had the pleasure of booking one Cuba trip for a good friend of mine. Her name is Sunshine. Just love her dearly. She had a wonderful time. I'm so excited about that so I want to book cruises to Cuba so if that's you and your group please reach out to me and let's make that happen thank you so much to my newest subscribers thank you so much to those of you that continue to support me in all that I do I love you guys to the moon and back because I couldn't do it without you love you dearly I look forward to seeing you not only on the beaches of the world but also the cruise ships of the world and hopefully in Cuba until next time take care <laughs>